Now to some religious matters, Pope Francis has abolished Vatican secrecy rules for cases of sexual abuse, effectively allowing the Catholic Church to share documents and information with civil authorities and allow victims to be informed of the status of their cases. In some countries, such as the United States, the Church already shares files with authorities, but the practice is not universal. Now, some Catholic churches around the world have invoked the pontifical secret to refuse cooperation in certain cases. Now, pontifical secret is considered the highest level of confidentiality in the Catholic Church law, which covers a number of administrative cases at the Vatican, such as nomination of cardinals, investigations by the Secretariat of State, and by the Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith. The Pope's special declaration called a rescript takes effect immediately. Now, joining us in the studio is Reverend Father Anthony Godonu, who is a um, Director of Social Communications at the Archdiocese of uh, Lagos, here to shed more light uh, on this matter. Good afternoon, Father, and good, good to have you. Good to be here. Now, let's begin, first of all, what does this mean, the whole secrecy rule that has been abolished by the Holy Father? Okay, thank you very much. The um, Pontifical Secrecy, or the, otherwise known as Papa Secrecy, is a code of confidentiality that is meant to protect some matters that relate to the Catholic Church. And uh, it is not all about sexual abuses. It has to do with many aspects of the Catholic Church, okay. including the documents that uh, are released by the Pope and uh, the appointment of bishops, those who are in diplomatic mission for the Vatican. I know that there are some memos and uh, memoranda that are usually being protected by the pontifical uh, secret, uh, sec uh, secrets. And um, in view of that, uh, it is uh, those who are involved in the administration of the church at that highest level of the Catholic Church, they are meant to take the oath of secrecy hmm. in order to protect such uh, matters that relate to the church until otherwise stated by the Pope. Okay. So that is basically what pontifical secrecy is all about. And uh, those uh, pontifical secrecies, the secrets that have been in existence for quite some time, okay. uh, many of them are in the Vatican archive or library, if you like. And um, for that reason, uh, it is only the Pope that can make it available to hmm. the public. And uh, that is why it is becoming a very big news all around the world that the uh, Pope has lifted. Uh, the pontifical secrecy and protecting the investigation and reports of sexual abuses by clerics. Okay, so having said that, you know, on Tuesday it was indeed a big announcement, so to speak, when the Holy Father made that declaration. That's now, right. what are the implications of this decision by the Holy Father? Yeah, the implications uh, are many, but major, major implication is the fact that no Vatican official or church official, to, to speak, uh, can now refuse the civil authorities the as accessibility to reports and investigation on sexual abuses uh, mm -hmm. by clerics. Uh, before now, just as you have stated in the news you just uh, cast, uh, uh, it has been happening in some parts of the world, like the United States, mm -hmm. but it has not been universal. Mm -hmm. And because of that pontifical secrecy is an oath taken by church officials, they cannot divulge those uh, reports to, to, to the civil authorities under the Pope's say so, and that no. is exactly what has happened. Now, Father, having explained that, you know, there's been this conversation that the, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, is quite a liberal and he's taking so many of such decisions that people did not anticipate in the Catholic Church. Now, particularly this, this decision, uh, we know that it's not, it won't sit well, so to speak, with some conservatives. W what should we expect? Well, you know, the, the, the truth is that every pope has his own time to live on. And the Pope Francis has his own time in which he's living now. And uh, many, of course, there are many top officials, like some cardinals who are not really happy about the, uh, the much of the opening of the doors in the church. But the truth is that the Spirit is, the Holy Spirit is always, always at work in the church. Uh, concerning this particular lifting mm. of the pontifus, pontifical secret, secret, secrecy on the sexual abuses, I think most of the cardinals that are conservative will agree with him on that. Okay. Most of them, it may not be all, but most of them will agree on, uh, agree, with, agree with him on this because the fact is that the church has been battered mm. because of these sexual allegations, sexual offenses. 
uh, that has made, that has been committed by many priests all over the world. Uh, some priests, I mean, not say many priests, some priests all over the world. So, but I think that I think, in my opinion, a good number of the conservative conservative uh, cardinals or mm. top officials, uh, church officials, will surely agree with him on okay. this. So having said that, um, this particular uh, rule that he has lifted on sexual abuse cases, are we going to see, is it going to uh, cause the scandal in the church? Is it going to, uh, you know, would the sex scandal in the church reduce as a result of this particular decision? Because it means that people can come yeah, out in the if, open now. In my own opinion, I think it will reduce because all of us the priests, we are now aware that's come. It used to be in the past when the the victims and the abusers are both protected under pontifical secrecy, mm -hmm. but it is no longer the case now. And for that matter, all of us we are aware there are a lot of documents, there are a lot of uh, regulations that are being uh, being set up, established in many dioceses, including the Archdiocese of Lagos. Mm -hmm. We have documents that are giving us the guidelines of how to relate with minors, with uh, vulnerable adults, and all that. So all of us we have come to the consciousness that come. Anything you do, uh, the law will not protect you anymore because the law has been lifted. Hmm. So that's the implication. And it is all in the move by, the, by Pope Francis to become more transparent about it. Because, you know, even he himself, who is, who is so-called like Libra, has been accused by the victims of sexual abuse, mm -hmm. who have said that uh, the church is not transparent enough and he is, has come and is not doing anything different. Mm -hmm. now. So I think uh, it's, going to, uh, it's going to reduce, the, the, to, to a large extent, it's going to reduce a sex abuse. And lastly, are we going to see some more of such decision by the Holy Father? Well, you know, you can't you can't read the mind of the Pope, okay. you know. So I wouldn't know because this one is also a surprise to all of us. We never knew that it was going to come up. So which surprise are we going to get now? I don't know, don't know. but uh, likely we may have more of such decisions ahead. All right, thank you very much, Father thank Anthony, for, for coming and joining thank us. You. Thank you.